Hello my friends and welcome back to Ride XP. On this episode, we're talking about scooter tires. Sobek Tires has given us the privilege of being the first Kimco Like 150i owner in the Philippines to try their new motor car tire, a unique touring tire with a wide flat profile like a car tire. So, is it any good or is it weird? Find that out and more on this episode of Ride XP. Hey, good morning guys. So, it's a rainy Sunday morning and we're in for a tire ring day. Kasi lahat ng gawain namin this morning ay tungkol sa gulong. So first, we're going to get the rear tire, no? Yep. The rear tire of Pia's Yamaha side, which we're driving right now, replaced. Then, bibili na kami ng rain gear sa wakas kasi wala pa rin kami rain gear. And then later, um, finally, no, matutuloy na si Sofec Tires kasi to sponsor ng tayo ng bagong gulong na medyo ano, medyo kakaiba, medyo special kind of touring tire siya. It's called the motor car tire, which is a scooter tire, which is a, a little bit more like a car tire. So I'm super excited, super curious talaga sa performance. First time ako magbomotor sa EDSA, so nako. XP na naman, what can I say? Should be a very interesting Sunday, sana gumanda panahon. And yeah, I'll let you know what I think about the new tires. Here we are again, sa F. Oliveros. Ito yung sama always. Yeah, no? sama. <laughs> so guys, marami nagsasabi na yung gulong daw yung pinaka-importante part ng motor natin. In terms of safety, ito yun kasi siya talaga yung Ano, it's what keeps your motorcycle on the road. So, lagi natin alaga ang gulong natin. Kung gata hiya mag spire yung gulong, siya lagi yung check in tire pressure. Yay, and we're back on the road. Yeah, okay, so new tire feels good. And now we're heading to Casco Market to get our rain gear. Alright. Yeah, I like the ADV 150. Dual sport tires, super locking storage. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Come on, the tires go. Good? Yes, good. Yay, Casco! I'm getting this blue Blitzkrieg one and uh, it's on sale for only 800 and apparently it's like a lot like the GV one which is 3000 so yeah good deal na kailangan na talaga ngayong panahon ng La Nina and this one is only 450 yeah I'm probably gonna buy this yeah sulit din yan hindi lang siya mesh lining sa loob so kung uminit medyo malagyan lang yeah that's Pia's choice of capote is it long enough for you? Okay. Alright, so we are off to the Feng's Garage in Makati and wish me luck. It's gonna be my first time on EDSA. Pia will be leading the way for safety. Okay guys, we're going to go to EDSA. Ito na, my EDSA virginity is about to be taken. Alright, EDSA time! <laughs> XP about to be gained. Bagong cemento ah! Ortigas flyover na tayo kaagad Yun lang talaga guys Para sa akin, yung only benefit ng pandemic Is yung bawas ng traffic I mean, malaki na kayo dagdag ng traffic mula nung simula ng GCQ Pero sa sobra sa mga kasi ng traffic talaga nung old normal Yung pakiramdam ng traffic ngayon parang himala eh Pero maaarandohan mo talaga na <laughs> ang pangat talaga ng road quality sa EDSA, laspag na laspag. So maganda uh, once makabit na yung ano natin, Sobek Motor Car Tires, maganda mga compare ko later kung mas stable ba siya, mas kaya niya balabanan yung EDSA. Hindi mo, akala mo smooth, pero once nandito ka na, baku-baku talaga siya eh, parang medyo wavy. Definitely, random mo deterioration in road quality pagdating dito and everything mo sa bosses ko nagiging shaky na siya o oh, araw-araw lang ganito ba't pa ako lilipat ng Canada 
Grabe, that was like super pleasant. Hindi siya totoong it's a experience. Pero ang pangit pala nung ano, no? Yung sa pagkatapos ng Guadalupe. Ducati. We are now on uh, Evangelista. Bangkal. Barangay Bangkal. We're on the south side of Makati. Wait for me, baby girl. Nice Vespa. Here we are. Alright, so special thanks kay Sobek Tires. Thanks to Harry. And Christian of the Fangs Garage. Hey, it's Christian. Hi, her Aaron. Okay. We are at the Fangs Garage. Hello. And there's Baby Fang. Hi, yes, Baby yes, Fang. yes. Hello, po. Oh, bagong gising ko ba? <laughs> Dumi <Dumedede>. dede. <laughs> Sorry, sa abala, baby. <laughs> nice. So, ayan, may tayong ano kapwa team blue yeah, yeah. and bagong exciting. Sa inyo itong hilera? Ang setup ko is a uh, uh, simpleng garage lang then mag isa lang ako sa shop so wala akong wala ako talagang kasama so basically the schedules here are uh, by, by appointment or by schedule and hands on talaga ako so pag wala ako wala so sa this uh -huh. DFG Can you tell us about yung brand na Sobek para sa mga hindi familiar okay. So Sobek uh, nag uh, started yung Sobek na yan uh, sa mga NMAX so wala pa yung hindi pa dumadating si 150i so dun pa lang nasubukan na namin siya during endurance uh, ride so actually uh, endurider ako so wow. maganda yung feedback talaga sa Sobek uh, since uh, yung uh, affordable and then yung quality is ano talaga so, wet and uh, dry and wet conditions uh, masasabi ko ah uh, Oh, uh, maganda, maganda yung quality niya. Ano yung price range ng Sobek lalo na compared dun sa mga other ano yes, brands? Uh, alam naman natin yung mga high-end brands ha, sa size 12 uh, which cost around 2.526 each. Eh, which uh, compared sa Sobek at uh, at 3,000 you have a pair na. So, wow. ganun kalayo yung uh, difference with regard sa price. Pero I tell you sa quality, hindi tayo mapapahiya. Yeah, alam na yan, lala na sa mga like owners, subok na yung Sobek natin. Sige, tapos so ano, can you explain ano yung special about yung tire na ilalagay natin today? Ah, so yung motor car, ah, daga, kukunin ko Sige, na. sige, hintayin natin, sige. So, unang tingin pa lang, kahit na, ang yeah, kapal na so, niya, parang kotse. Iba, iba ang ano. So, ah, ako curious. Iba ang, uh, eto, i-open na natin. Tapos magkaibang size front rear niya, no? Yes. So, same to stock, 110, then 130. Okay, 110, so, 130. So, ito yung binidala ni Sancho para sa inyo. Eh. Okay. So, medyo... Ano lang siya? Yung... Uh, hindi siya pang karaniwa na... Yan. So, yung... Yeah. Actually, parang kochi siya eh. Yun nga! Ikakaiba yun, no? Astig! Wala lang. That's a... Uh, medyo astig tong gulong yes, natin, ah. So, ah. Ikaw ang first na kakabitan. Oh my yes. God! Actually, kaya niya tumayo on its own. Grabe! Oh. <laughs> Traction galore! Yes! Oh my god! Main uh, advantage nito is yung traction. Kasi okay. nga, makikita natin sa design. So, nakalapat talaga. So guys, so apparently, tayo pala yung unang kakabitan niyan. Yes, yes, so, yes. it's a medyo... Thanks sir, Sanfu! It's ano? It's an honor. Um, yung mga talaga siyang gulong ng kotse! Oh my god! Actually, <laughs> kakaano talaga siya? Uh, kakaiba. Nakakatayo siya. Yes! Yeah. Oh. It's a nice looking tire. Yeah. Oh my god. Parang pang Wigo. Tama. So, ano? Pwede na ako Game. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Dadalhin ko lang dun sa tropa, dun sa okay, sige. Dun ng tire changer. Okay, sige. Nagutupad na ang pangarap ko na mag-motovlog ng malaking camera. Kaya <laughs> nakatigas ang ulo. Beb, the word! <laughs> so for reference, oh, tinan mo kung gano'n ka bilog yung stock tire. And 
then boom ayan parang kotse talaga galing <laughs> galing <laughs> Eh pala mga subscriber ano. Like and subscribe. Kasi kung ano, dati na gusto ko mag-vlog kasi hindi na tuloy ang lockdown din. Kaya, pwede ba 'yan, kuya? Oo. Inyo to, si Sniper. Ayun guys, so warning lang, ako nagsilang tayo, yung rear tire ko pala yung previous owner nila ganun silang. Problema kito, nagko Nakoporod niya yung mag So, ingat-ingat tayo pag maglagay ng sealant ha? May downside din talaga kasi siya Kaya no, nakakain siya ng sealant to Magpalit tayo ng gulong Matapang yung ano yung sealant Matapang yung sealant na ginamit Kahit anong sealant, matapang Kaya na, ating rear tire Ang satisfying nga panoorin nyo ito ha Installed na ang ating tires, ready na i-inflate at ibalik sa aking scooter. After ko mag-change tires, hinugas ako talaga. Mago ko yung kapit. <laughs> so ano ko na yun, mag-SOP ko na yun. Nice. Mag-palit ko lang. Saka kasi nag-apply nag ng uh, oil para pumasok yung gulong during pag-change. So minsan pag hawak nung uh, tire guy, mm -hmm. baka may langis dito. So for safety na rin, kaya nuhugasan ko siya talaga. Nice. Ay no, commercial baby talaga. Let's <laughs> compare natin isang totoong car tire and the Sobek motor car tire for scooters. So ang nangyayari ngayon na spot ni Sir Christian na may ano pala. May tama yung rear ABS sensor from parang improper na paglagay. Yes. So yun, is also ano, trying to fix it for me. So kapag bumili kayo ng second hand, talagang maraming magiging mga hidden things. So naman ako naging issue so far, pero it's always good na mga ganyan bakit kasi baka biglang they prop up, maging issue at the wrong time. So okay talaga you go to a place like this na you have a mechanic that really cares about your bike. So this one, kailangan nakatapat siya lagi sa tire valve. Ah, talaga. So the manufacturers, ang design kasi niya is yung proper, since hindi naman ito kagaya ng mga malalaking mags, rings, na nalalagyan ng tingga, binabalance. So yan yung marker na, at ah. yan yung pinaka-balancing point niya. Yung pala ibig sabihin, no? Yeah, so iba, nagtataka para saan yung mga yung dot, dot, dots. Uh -huh. So ganun po siya. Pawagi ng gulong, oh. It's front tire time. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Wow. You can finally try it. Ang buhit niya. DFG dog. Hello. There's too much cuteness in this garage. Look at his ear. Boom. Oh, no. Si Brandy, pag napanood niya ito, lagot ka. Okay guys, so finally my Sobek motor car tires are installed. And we'll be able to try them soon. We'll ride here. But I have to say, I've had a great experience here with Christian in the Fangs Garage. So really, hindi tayo sa Barangay Bangkal, Makati if you're in the area. Lalo na if you need to get your Kimco scooter worked on. This is the place. Thank you so much, Professor Christian, for a fun and educational na ano na afternoon dito with my new tires. So, to get on the motorcycles, go back to Quezon City, and I will let you know my reaction. New tires, who this? Hindi pa palat ayo alis, may mahalagang kaganapan. Alright. Kain tayo, and then I'll catch you on the road. Bye Pickle! Bye Pickle! Alright! Thank you Ren! Thank you! It was a pleasure! Till next time! Alright! Off we go! So... Yeah, it's already gone! First thing I noticed guys is that 
the scooter is very upright as you might expect with tires like this it's very upright it's very stable like kita nyo kanina di ba yung gulong tumatayo siya magisa yun yung ramdam ko ngayon sa scooter ko tayong tayo siya hindi siya masyadong nagti tip over <laughs> this might be a really great tire for ano for traffic guys nakakaaliw yung pakiramdam kasi <laughs> kasi tayong tayo talaga yung scooter ayaw niya mag ano hindi siya gumigewang gewang <laughs> sarap ng feeling sa straight line so ang curious talaga ako is ano magiging performance nito pagdating sa cornering so sa so, totoo lang, we'll do that in the next video pa so that talagang we can have a nice run sa Marilake and I can tell you how it does at higher speeds and in cornering usually kasi diba pag sa motor pag low speed natin medyo magsisimula ng ano magwabol yung handlebar ito hindi diretso diretso pala yung takbo niya ah. so yun, yun yung pinaka noticeable aspect nung tire for me right now malaking confidence boost yung hindi siya nagwabol na sober siyang Diretso. Noon talaga the improvement in ride stability and ride smoothness is noticeable. And tulad ng nasabi niya dito kanina, marami nang sasabi na that the most important part of your bike, especially safety-wise, is your tires. And so, this is really, I think, an all-around upgrade that will very easily improve your everyday ride. Oh, uh, ayan guys, nasa low speed na tayo. So dito, bilang hindi pa ako super experienced rider, dito ako usually nahihirapan na big kapag medyo mabagal, eh hindi na tayo masyadong nakaka-ride ng diretso. Nararamdaman ko talaga that even at nearly full stop, it's very easy to keep the bike in a straight line. Nakabitaw yung right hand ko, sobrang stable pa rin ang bike. Oh, full stop, full stop. The handlebar isn't even moving, guys. <laughs> Ang saya! <laughs> I think if you ano, daily rider ka ng Kim Kulite, I know you use it for work, for commuting, I can highly recommend this tire. What's the catch? That's my question. What's the catch? So I did my research and according to Ryan F9 on the Fort9 YouTube channel, using a real, a real car tire on a motorcycle doubles your load capacity and makes your bike much more stable. It also allows you to use all of your bike's power on the rear wheel. But it negatively affects your handling because it makes the bike want to stay upright. My first impression with the Sobek motor car tire is that handling may actually be improved, but find out in my next episode if the tire performs well on a twisty road. Okay guys, wag tularan yung gagawin ko ngayon ah. So ito test natin yung stability ng tire. Oh. Hahaha! <laughs> Hahaha! 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 Famously, ano to eh, medyo uneven yung road and talagang the very noticeable yung improvement sa ano sa shock absorption. Ito, ito na, sa mga ano to. Wow! The tire is really taking all of the shock. Gusto ko rin siya masubukan mag-off-road ng konti, mag-konting trails and in a few weeks, magagawa natin yan with Martin, Mr. Duo.moto. Alright guys, we've got one last test for our first impressions of the Sobek tires and that's the Angkas test Hello. with Bibi even with the passenger, umiiral pa rin yung feeling of stability ko sa kanya so na notice ko, dahil sobrang stable niya lalo na with a, with a, ano, with a pillion passenger yung throttle input ko nagiging sobrang fine na lang, super chill na lang ng throttle input ko because I don't need to use throttle to keep the bike upright coasting coasting lang tayo Sorry, 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 sorry. Yep. Ayan, so yun, sudden break tayo with billion passenger and umiiral pa rin talaga yung stability niya, hindi halos gumagalaw yung handlebar. So, check talaga yun. Oh, ano Beb, payag na ako dun sa ano. Ikot tayo na hanggang ano, hanggang ilokos, kaya ko na ngayon with this ano. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, angkas na kita hanggang Ilocos. Payag na ako. Ala. Mas maganda na yung gulong natin eh. Hey. 
Teren, 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 teren. Hey, nasa mas controlled environment tayo. Try natin mag slow speed maneuvers. Wow, very tight, very good. Sarap. Wow. Pwede, 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 pwede. Very tight, di ba? Very tight. Very tight. We've driven across EDSA. Na-try na natin ang medyo slow speed driving in traffic and uneven roads and just now nakatry tayo ng slow speed maneuvers and sa totoo lang so far I've found nothing not to like about the tires as in all ko lang sabi stability comfort and even yung sa cornering para sa laki ng contact patch it's a very good tire and talagang puro very positive ang first impressions ko sa kanya so definitely as of now, I recommend ko talaga siya for your scooter. And the next episode ng Ride XP, we will try it some marilake cornering and hopefully we can do some light off road with it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Harry Sanfu of Sobek for sponsoring our tires. It was such a great experience. And to Christian of the Fengs Garage. What a great afternoon on the motorcycle. And with Pia also behind the camera. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so guys, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And stay tuned next week for our full continuing review of the Sobek Motorcar Tire. Ride safe.